Um, I'm here with Cameron, who is our um, technical marketing engineer on the existing <clears throat> uh, standalone BPA tool side. He'll give a little bit of an intro into why, um, as a company, we decided to make this transition. And then I will walk you through um, how some of those existing BPA capabilities actually map to the AI ops um, for NGFW dashboards that um, also support uh, Panorama Manage Prisma Access. Um, so over to you, Cameron. So hello, everyone. Uh, I hope we're all familiar with the best practice assessment, which helps our customers assess the security posture of their next generation firewalls and panoramas against Palo Alto networks and industry best practices. The BPA and configuration wizard tools helps users measure their adoption of security capabilities, validate whether security configurations adhere to best practices, and provide recommendations and steps on how to remediate failed best practice checks. So while the BPA has proven very useful in helping customers identify and mitigate network security risk, it has some limitations, unfortunately. So today, BPA reports are manually generated at point in time snaps snapshots for a single device. As security threats become increasingly agile, it becomes more critical than ever to have complete visibility into their security posture at all times. So why are we transitioning the BPA to AOPS for next generation firewall? AOPS for NGFW offers several key advantages over the standalone BPA tool. AAOPS telemetry powered dashboards offer a continual view of best practices instead of relying on periodic manual generation of BP reports using TS TSFs. Advanced capabilities such as proactive BPA provide the ability to proactively enforce best practices and prevent security misconfigurations before they're applied. And then you can also customize best practice recommendations so you can focus on what's relevant to your unique environment and use cases. So how exactly does AIOps help you improve your security posture today? AIOps provides a view of your feature adoption and configuration, helping you understand the effectiveness and usage of your security features. With AIOps best practice recommendation workflows, you can continually assess your deployment and identify security misconfigurations proactively. AIOps enables you to proactively fix and implement best practices before you apply any changes that may compromise your security posture. And I'll hand things over back to Jessica. Yeah. Thanks, Cameron. So now I'll take you through um, some of the features that you may have been familiar with in the existing tool and then um, how you can actually start using the equivalent capabilities in AIOps. And one thing that I would just like to call out, um, the AIOps that we are speaking of right now is AIOps for NGFW, um, not Prisma Access AIOps per se. However, all of these dashboards that um, I will be walking through um, not only support NGFW and Panorama um, devices, but also Panorama Managed Prisma Access. So if you are managing your um, Prisma Access through Panorama, you should be able to um, use these dash dashboards in um, AIOps. So you're probably familiar with the adoption heat map views in the existing tool, um, which gives you that breakdown of your security profile adoption, as well as historical trends of your adoption. Um, and we actually have an equivalent dashboard in AIOps. Um, it's called the feature adoption dashboard. And like um, the previous view, it also gives you that breakdown of security profile and feature adoption. Um, across all or a subset of your devices that you've onboarded um, to your AIOps for NG NGFW instance. Um, so if you were to hover over any of the slices in this pie chart, you would actually bring up the adoption details in this um, side uh, panel here for that specific adoption category. And you can kind of preview the historical trends here um, and adjust the time range for that. You can also, in this dashboard view, toggle between um, just normal overall adoption or best practices mode. So you can actually see the breakdown of your security profile adoption um, according to best practices. And um, you can also download and export the data from this dashboard um, as a CSV file. And um, if you select or if you hover and click on any one of the specific sections of the pie chart, you can actually drill down and understand um, further details 
such as uh, whether the rules have um, configured that security profile or not. And you should also be able to toggle this view between rules that um, either have configured that security profile or rules that haven't. So you can actually get that full breakdown of your rule base <clears throat> and whether um, they are adopting this particular feature or not. Um, we also have a more detailed historical um, trend chart here where you can kind of hover over and observe, you know, how has my adoption in this category been improving over time? So switching gears real quick to um, the actual best practice assessment with all of our uh, BPA checks. The existing BPA tool um, supports over 200 um, best practice checks and provides you this report view of what's failing and um, in your environment. So we also have an equivalent uh, best practices dashboard. If you are a uh, cloud managed Prisma Access customer, you may have seen this um, similar best practices dashboard in your um, Prisma Access Insights instance. So <clears throat> we have um, this best practices dashboard in AIOps for NGFW as well. And um, if you are you know, either sending telemetry or you have uploaded a TSF file, you would be able to access um, the BPA report through this dashboard. And what this dashboard does is it also supports the same 200 plus best practice checks as the uh, standalone BPA tool. And we um, kind of show it to you in four major uh, categories. Um, of use cases. So security, identity, network, and service setup. Um, you can actually drill down and explore like what are the checks that are failing for your um, specific device here. Um, you can also filter by the location. So for example, um, device groups, template stacks. Um, you can filter by the configuration category. So in this particular screenshot, we're looking at auth, um, auth profiles, but you can you know, change the filter and see something um, else, for example, uh, auth sequences and under this identity tab. Um, you can also filter by whether the checks are just Paul to network's best practices or um, are they mapped to the CSC controls. And lastly, you can filter by whether they have available CLI remediations or not. And also um, from this dashboard, you can actually download uh, the report as a PDF summary or download the full details of all of your uh, failed best practice checks um, and passing checks as a CSV uh, report. And then you can also share and schedule those two different um, files and if there are CLI remediations for um, failing checks in your environment, then you can also um, preview, those uh, preview those remediations as well as download them as a text file. Um, so you can actually you know, run all of those CLI commands um, to fix your failed checks. And like I kind of touched on earlier, um, we actually support two different workflows in AIOps. So of course, we always recommend that um, if you are you know, managing um, your firewalls and Prisma Access with a panorama that's on 10 or higher, then definitely um, onboard that panorama with telemetry to AIOps for NGFW. Um, so you can, again, get those continuous BPA reports as well as um, security alerts for that um, panorama. However, if you are not running um, your panorama on a uh, 10.0 or above PanOS version, then we still allow you to upload the TSF um, to AIOps as long as it is on 9.1 uh, or above. And um, Likewise, if you do have devices that are um, unable to send telemetry to AIOps, this is also an option for you. And what this does is once you upload a TSF, it will generate both the best practices and the feature adoption um, dashboard views, which I you know, previously covered. And 
it will give you this link that takes you into that dashboard with the report for that specific device. So some quick FAQs, and then we can get to the actual Q&A portion of this um, webinar. Um, when will the BPA be deprecated? This uh, actually has already occurred as of July 17th. Um, so you will no longer be able to upload um, any new TSFs to your customer support portal um, as of this previous date. However, you will continue to have access to your historical BPA data um, until end of this calendar year. And I'm sure this is a big question for uh, most folks out there. Um, will BPA capabilities be available free of charge? And the answer is yes. All the capabilities covered in this demo are available in the free version of AIOps for NGFW. And WebPanOS versions are required for AIOps BPA capabilities. Like I mentioned earlier, um, to use telemetry-based views, you will need PanOS 10.0 or higher. And if you want to generate on-demand reports by uploading a TSF, you will need PanOS 9.1 or higher. And just to reiterate, um, all of the views that we covered today in the demo um, support NGFW Panorama and Panorama Managed Prisma Access configuration types. So um, there are some caveats if you are a cloud managed customer. Um, we don't have support for um, the feature adoption dashboard view yet, but um, that is, you know, something that like may not. Uh, this statement may not hold true in the future, but today what we have covered is um, these dashboards and they are all supported for Panorama managed customers. So what capabilities are available to me today as a cloud managed customer? So like I mentioned at the beginning, um, for both cloud managed Prisma Access and NGFWs, you will have access to that best practices dashboard today. Um, under activity, uh, under the activity tab, um, and it is also called best practices. And for some of you, you may have um, heard about Strata Cloud Manager. Um, AIOps is now part of the Strata Cloud Manager platform, which aims to provide a unified view for your NGFWs and SASE products. So if you activate AIOps for NGFW today, you will automatically get that new Strata Cloud Manager interface. Um, and then you can, you know, pull up all of these dashboards um, in that GUI. And lastly, um, I won't talk through all of these um, steps in detail, but if you are new to AIOps for NGFW, um, here are the following steps that you can take to actually start using those BPA capabilities. Um, so these steps will cover how to activate your free instance um, through our hub, and then again, you can either get right into it and upload a TSF to generate reports or um, enable telemetry for your, um, if you're, again, if you're a Panorama Manage Prisma Access customer, enable telemetry on your panoramas and onboard them to AIOps. And lastly, I've um, attached some resources here. But please, if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your um, Palo Networks teams today, and we are happy to take any feedback or um, questions that you may have.